by this Super Bowl Sunday, getting a little bit of training in. Like I was telling you with the Malawi puppies or the Dutch Shepherd puppies, they're real sensitive. They're one family, one man dogs, you know, which means basically they adapt into one person. means they adapt into one person or one family. Great with kids, but these dogs have super energy and they love their toys. They will go at their toys by all means. So don't confuse them biting the kids or biting at any kids for them grabbing their toys. You really need to be careful when it comes to kids and their toys. What you see, boy? What you see, boy? What you see, boy? What you see, boy? But yeah, when it comes to these dogs, they get really, you know, adapt. They really adapt to their owner. Get it, boy. Get it, boy. Like, I'm not gonna have, when he's not with me, he's not gonna be around anybody else. Besides my my family. Whoever I have him, you know, the, the person that he lives with. Let's go. Sit, sit, sit. Yes, stay. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Good, 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 good. Place, place. Yes, good boy. Sit. Yes. Good boy. Middle. Yes. Stay. Yeah, boost. Good boy. Good puppy. Boost. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Stay. Yes, good boy. Down. Stay. Stay.
Not crap. That's all I know. I just been not crap. Oh, man, Come on, six, with your funky ass. I've been waiting for you all night. Baby needs shoes. My wife needs clothes. Keep tracking the bogey. We're looking into it. Stand back. Houston, we're not scheduled for any satellite launches today, are we? Then stand by. We may have a problem here. Houston, this is ISS. <laughs> No, I'm not a writer. Okay. Watching a video, it's your boy Pelican Bay Canines giving you that dog news the way I always do. Fan unbiased. Some gonna like it, some ain't. You know, some gonna like it, some ain't. Appreciate y'all for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. If you like the video, hit the like button. Comment at the bottom. I'm gonna comment up like I always do with you. You know, hope you get something from the video. Let's go. Uh... They wasn't messing with me, now they weren't aware the chains A testimony every dog has to stay Was riding buckets, now they see me in that pretty thing Remember hearing every dog has to stay They think I'm different, but clearly you can see I ain't changed They used to tell me every dog has to stay Never get comfortable to know who's trying to up your game Cause you know every dog has to stay I'm in the dope going crazy, moving everything Bills overdue, so the fiends gotta pay These just around here really ain't got no time for the game They carry sticks that hit you from a block away Broke niggas when you getting money thinking that it's strange Doing that pussy shit, they thinking it's okay I should've listened to my grandma, boy, she wasn't playing I'm in the hood with niggas dying every day I just want the money, they thinking I want the fame Hustling 24-7, I got plenty to gain They wasn't listening, I tried to put them on the game Since 16, your boy been moving away Was riding buckets, now they see me in that pretty thing He wasn't checking for me, now they just know my name Saying I changed, cause a nigga got a couple chains How you hating, but you got nothing to say right, First up, we talking about this pretty American Bulldog stud behind me You know, if you're looking for a good American Bulldog stud You know this is from around my way. So if you're looking for a good American Bulldog stud, you know, to go with your female to get some good quality puppies, hit me up, you know. My boy right around the corner from me, I can put you in the right direction. Man, this picture does no justice to the head size of that Bulldog behind me. I mean, in person, this Bulldog head is like this. Okay, right here we got three different male carriers getting attacked by three different dogs. We're gonna talk about what they did wrong and what they did right. Now the first thing this male carrier did wrong, you always pay attention to your surroundings and he wasn't paying attention. By not paying attention to his surroundings, he trips over the bush and you never stay on the ground if you can get up, get to your feet. Now this male man did the right thing. 
He kept his back to the wall, made a lot of noise, paid attention to his surroundings, and he act bad when he got to the truck. Now this mailman loses focus on where he's at. He forgets everything. Watch. He sees the dog. He stops. The dog starts walking. He need to be planning on what he's doing right now. He need to be planning. But instead of planning, he's going to start squatting. Any dog will break off after when you start to squat. Now he runs past the Porter John. Who runs past the Porter John? I would have got inside the Porter John. Not paid attention to your surroundings. I always stress and I always say, if you don't put no obedience, real obedience in your dog, do not teach them to attack nobody. You're going to be looking for at a case, just like uh, a couple of my homeboys was talking about last night. Listen, you're going to be looking at a case if you do not treat, uh, train these dogs in high obedience. Have these dogs where you can control them at all times. You know what I'm saying? Do not train no dog, person canary, pit bull, bulldog, Belgian Malawa, Dutch Shepherd, Cane Corso, Band dog, do not train no dog to attack nobody if you don't have control over that dog. Control don't mean control with the leash. Control mean control. When you, you got a remote control in your hand and you push that return button, that dog is right back to you. You push, got a remote, a remote control, not the e-collar remote control. I mean like a remote control to a car, to a little, a little car or something like that, like a toy. When you got a remote, remote control toy in your hand, when you say reverse, that toy go backwards. When you tell that toy to stop, that toy stop. When you uh, go forward with the toy, the toy goes forward. It's just like that. You got to have that much control over the dog. If you don't got that much control over the dog, do not teach that dog to attack. What's going to happen when you when the dog go attack and you can't control him no more? Because once he, once he leaves from you to go attack anything, whether it's a cat, a person, or an object, whatever it is, his drive is on super. It's not where it was when he was chilling with you, where you could control him. When you thought you could control them, it's on super now, okay? Drivers on super, you got to control super. A Belgian Malinois or Dutch Shepherd is not the dog to pick at if you're not training them for that kind of work. Say, like, if he's just in his cage or if he's just on a chain or in the yard or whatever, he is not the dog to be picked at, you know, because you're going to end up with an uncontrollable dog. If you're not putting no training into them, real training, real deal training into them, those type of dogs aren't to be messed with that kind of way. You make a, 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 a unstable dog. Belgian Malawan Dutch Shepherds are very sensitive dogs. Very sensitive. I right, Marino is two years old. I got full control over him, but I will not let nobody pick at him. If you're not doing any work, any bike work, any suit work, or anything like that, and it's just his leisure time, he's just chilling or whatever, nobody picks at him. Period. He is not the dog to be picked at. When it comes to any protection work, like I always say, I'm a firm believer of obedience. Obedience. Nobody wants to do it because that's all the hard work. That's all the hard work. But look how I just trained GW in a matter of a couple weeks to do so many different things. It's not as hard as everybody wanted to make it, but it's boring. It's boring compared to the bike work. Everybody loves to see their dog clamp down on something. Everybody wants to see their dog tackle some dog. That's the fun part. The board part is learn how to control that dog, and that's what I get paid to do. 
that's what I get paid to do the board work. Like you can do all the research you want to do and they're going to tell you the dogs are super hyped up dogs, this and that, this and that. But until you really actually go through it, you don't know what I'm saying. You know, those dogs are juiced up. German Shepherds on uh, German, German Shepherds on uh, them, them energy drinks 24-7. It ain't like, oh, you can take him out for a good exercise and he tired when he get back for the day. No. He gonna rest for five minutes and he ready to go again. You take him out there for a couple miles, he gonna rest when he get back for five minutes, he ready to go again. You're not gonna, you know, you might have him calm a little bit because you took him out to exercise him, but believe me, that dog is far from tired and far from ready to quit. All right, thank y'all for watching the video. I hope y'all got something from it. It's your boy, PBK9, giving you that news the way I always do. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I appreciate you. Hit that like button, comment at the bottom. I'm going to comment with you. It's your boy, PBK9, and I'm about to here.